welcome to Divorce Diary Show. Good morning. How are you? How are you feeling okay? Um, if you're going through divorce, cheers. If you're not going through divorce and you are divorced, cheers again. Here's hoping my ex and his wife are on their way to divorce. Uh, I know that's really cruel and mean, but you know what? I was thinking about it and um, I don't want anyone to get divorced. I don't think a lot of people are like, oh, divorce, you're for divorce. How can you celebrate it? I was like, the same way people celebrate new beginnings, right? We celebrate marriages, we celebrate new babies. For me, divorce was the better option than staying in, I'm gonna lighten myself up a little bit, an unhealthy marriage, right? And so I get, you know, kind of comments about that, like, how can you celebrate? Well, the same way you celebrate getting a new puppy. Oh my God, it's my puppy's half birthday! <laughs> um, speaking of puppies, I'm a dog person, but I've been into this Tiger Exotic uh, documentary. What's with this doc guy with the like the, the little triangle goatee? He, like, I just, when I watched this, I was like, okay, so he would be one of, like, the exes I've had that lied to me very deeply and is, like, a cult wrangler. Um, he's a psycho, but, like, this is what people do. They manipulate women and get them to believe, and he, like, lures them in with tigers. But here's the thing. He must have like a really big prize for them at the end of this tunnel, let me tell you. Uh, people are often frustrated with their spouse, right? Um, so now being quarantined, I don't even know what that would look like. Like I just would want to take, if I, if I was still married at the end of my marriage and I, I was quarantined with my ex, like I just would be, I would be drinking more than I am now. I mean, uh, I don't know, or we would be literally I would be out of the house running miles really in really really good shape because I wouldn't want to be in the house um, But if I loved my husband then that would be great. We'd be having like I'd be getting pregnant right now again um, So the quarantine is great for close talkers because now I have a reason to say back the F up back the F up I hate these close talkers and I'm, I'm an Italian woman like I get it, but even in the grocery store now, people still not adhering to this. Like there's a line, an X. Remember in preschool when you had to stand on the X for your spot in the pre-K graduation? You don't remember how to do that? There was a guy in a mask buying cat food. How ironic is that after watching Tiger Exotic? He's buying all this cat food and he's not adhering. Like why do you have the mask on first of all and you're not gonna adhere to the social distancing? Like I've seen people too, they don't adhere to it. They walk around no gloves, they walk around in no mask. This guy is just like not listening. And then the cashier was like, can you stand on the X? And he like refused to. Bro. And, and, and some of the, some of the employees are not wearing gloves when you go to the store. So what's, what's the rule? Cause I'm confused. <laughs> kind of like when you get divorced, like what's the rule? You can text about certain things, but you can't text about like, what are you feeding my child? It better not be pastoroni cause it's not healthy. Meanwhile, I buy Pastoroni too now because it's a buck at Walmart. What would Perfect Mom say about that? <sighs> Michelle, you don't know how to make pasta. You're an Italian. You're an Italian, Michelle. I'm sure you can figure it out. You're very smart. Just look how cute you are with those eyebrows. Oh, I should really put you in touch with my eyebrow lady. She does it virtually now. I'll also pay for your first session because I know it's tough for you right now. So what Perfect Mom would say, don't you love when women or men, you know, they kind of compliment you with an insult, you know, like, oh, you're such a great spirit. You must be really, you know, that you can laugh at this difficult time that you're not making any money because you chose performing as a career. It's so cute. I'm so proud. You make me feel proud. So, a divorce on the street. Let's see. Um, is the Easter Bunny going to come? Yes, honey. He's coming. But he may be a day or two late because Amazon bunny truck is on back order. But he'll come. Eventually he'll come. Uh, much like my exes. Well, sometimes not. Uh, yeah, in the 80s, what was would happen? I don't even know. God, what would happen if this was going on in the 80s? We'd all be fucked. Um, I don't know. We would be selling our Nintendo and Game Boy. I mean, we had that, you know? <laughs> Whoa. I don't even know what that would look like, but thankfully it didn't. Um, so if you're getting divorced right now, please leave a comment or email me. I have healing through humor sessions uh, and I wanna try to help out through my craft, keep my business afloat. But uh, in general, I wanna help people through this really tough, difficult time. Um, if you're getting divorced, 
and you want me to put a shout out to you or, or write a joke specifically for you, message me on Instagram, email me divorcediaryshow at gmail.com and I will do that. Okay guys, have a great day.